Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and today I'm going to show you how to make these pretty metallic colors for yourself in InDesign. So they're really versatile. You can change blocks, uh, objects, you can change text. So it is this color um, and I just think it looks really pretty. So the good news is if you purchased this planner, which is the monthly planner from my Creative Market Shop, you actually already have this color created for you. So I left it in the swatches panel over here. So you'll actually see the gold, um, there's the hot pink, and the purple, so you could reuse those anytime you want in any other project that you have. But let's say we want to create a new gradient in here, um, and how would we do that? So let's just kind of experiment and we will, uh, let's do it on the letter 2018. So first I just want you to see the components of this color. It goes from light to dark and that's what creates that metallic shimmer to the eye when you glance at it. Now if you do not see the swatches panel on the right, you can go up here to window, color, and select swatches. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a blue swatch. So let's go ahead and in the swatches panel, let's maybe start with this blue, go to the top right, those four bars, and select new gradient swatch. And make sure linear is selected. Now you can name this anything you want. So let's say um, new blue metallic swatch, or not swatch, gradient. And over here, we obviously don't want it green, so we're going to select a light blue and then follow that up with a dark blue. And then over here, we can shimmer it back to a light blue. So this, as you can see already, is kind of taking shape. Now, if you wanted to add more details, you can automatically add, um, if I just click here, it's going to add another bucket for me. Okay. Um, if that's something you wanted. So let's just say okay. So now here's our new blue metallic gradient. We're going to go over here to 2018, make sure it's selected. We're going to change the color by selecting T and here at the bottom we'll select our new blue metallic gradient. And there you can see, I'll zoom out a little, um, we have our new pretty blue gradient. Now you can do this with any color. You're just gonna mix the lights and the darks. You can even make rainbow colors if you wanted. I will demonstrate that for you really quickly. Um, so let's say we wanted to make a rainbow gradient. And let's select all of my favorite colors since this is me. <laughs> um, let's do a pink and Let's do a purple. So now I have a rainbow gradient. So I could change this 2018 over here to my rainbow color. And those are pretty as well. So there's so many different cool things you can do with these gradient swatches to get that sort of either metallic look that you want or that gradient look or sort of phasing into a new color. So I hope this was helpful. And again, if these are too difficult for you to make, they are actually all available. The metallics are available for you inside the monthly metallics uh, calendars that I sell on Creative Market. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.